COVID boosters. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Davidson. And I'm Rosemary Connors. While many have been anxiously awaiting the new boosters from Pfizer and Moderna, there's debate about how they'll hold up against the subvariants the shots are designed to target. Today, I spoke with Dr. Paul Offit, a vaccine expert from CHOP, who also helps to advise the FDA. He tells me what many may not realize is that right now, the only information about these specific shots is from studies in mice. It's not only that we don't have clinical data, seeing whether it works, which makes sense because, you know, we're doing this on the fly. We don't have immune data in people. Nearly two and a half years into this pandemic and new vaccine boosters appear to be on the horizon. The latest from Pfizer and Moderna would target the BA4 and dominant BA5 Omicron subvariants. But Dr. Paul Offit, a renowned vaccine expert at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, who is also on the FDA's 21 member vaccine advisory committee, is telling people who may want the shot to wait until there's more information from the drug companies. Right now, they're saying that we should trust mouse data, and I don't think that should ever be true. I, I don't think you should ever ask tens of millions of people to get a vaccine based on mouse data. Dr. Offit explains mice and other animals are typically the first to be tested in preclinical trials whenever a new vaccine is made. And that tells you whether or not something is at least immunogenic, that it can induce an immune response that you think might be protective. And it also tells you whether or not you have an obvious safety problem. And then you slowly go into people, so-called phase one trials. And there's no public data on that yet. What's more, for these fall booster shots, the FDA is not consulting with Dr. Offit and the rest of the Independent Vaccine Advisory Committee. The reason to consult us is because when you do that, when you, you consult us, that's open to the public. So we'll get then all the data from the two companies, which then is available to the public. By not doing that, by simply saying we don't need that advice, what they're also saying is we're not going to be transparent about what we have to the American public. And I just think that's not fair. Keep in mind, this is just one opinion. Others on the FDA advisory committee may have different views, especially considering that time is of the essence in this pandemic to protect people. Also, everyone has unique health circumstances, so patients should choose what's right for them. And while the FDA may end up authorizing these shots, remember, it's up to the CDC to decide whether to recommend the use for different age groups or not.